Hey, what's going on everyone? This is Chase at Rockymon HVMC and today we are showing you the antimicrobial ADV socks from MSR. All right, everyone, hello and thank you for checking in. Today we are showing you the new antimicrobial ADV socks from MSR. Now look, I know that socks are not the most exciting topic when it comes to ADV or ATV riding, but I will say this from our own experience that having a good pair of socks on your rides, especially when you're spending all day long in your boots, it makes a difference. You know, we know the off-road boots and ADV boots, they are not the most breathable, so you've got to have a good pair of socks. Having cold toes on a cold day, that sucks. And also on the flip side, having hot and sweaty feet all day long and having a stinky pair of socks is not the best. And not to mention the smell. Nobody wants to have a stinky pair of socks in their gear bag or in their luggage for the ride. And what makes these socks unique and so good for ADV riding, ATVs, when you spend a lot of time in your boots, is the way these are made. This is a merino wool acrylic nylon blend. Now there's some properties about merino wool that make it so good. I've used merino wool for a lot of years. I'll kind of share some of my feedback. But don't let the word wool scare you. This is not the same kind of wool that your grandma used to use to knit your Christmas sweater every year. Merino wool has some properties about it that are pretty unique. So first of all, in hot weather, when your feet are getting hot and they're starting to sweat, it does a great job of wicking that moisture, keeping away from your feet to help keep your feet cool as possible. Now on the flip side, in cold weather conditions, it does a great job of insulating. So yes, it actually does both. It wicks moisture, keeps your feet cool, but it also insulates to help keep your feet warm. And what I also really like about merino wool is that even when it's wet, it still insulates. A great example of that is, like I said, I've worn merino socks for years, merino tops and base layers, and I've been soaking wet in merino wool before, but I don't feel nearly as cold as I thought I was going to be because it still helps insulate. So it's pretty amazing what merino wool can do. And the last unique feature about merino wool, and this is probably my favorite, is that it is naturally antimicrobial and odor resistant. In other words, when you're wearing these socks all day long in your boots, you're getting them hot, you're getting them sweaty. When you take these things off, you let them air and dry out, you go to put them back on, they're not gonna be all stinky. So if you're a rider where maybe when you're doing your adventure rides or whatever it is, you don't wanna pack around some stinky socks with you, you don't have to worry about that with merino wool. And from my experience, like I said, I use merino wool socks when I'm doing my hunts and I've put on miles and miles of hiking in one day in very hot conditions. And what I'll do is I'll just take my socks off at the nighttime, let them air out and dry. The next day, I can literally go take the same pair of socks and I've done this before, call me gross if you want, but I've literally put my nose in my sock and smelt it and you would not even know that you'd worn the previous day because they're so good at resisting that odor. So if you're a minimalistic and you only wanna pack maybe one or two pairs of socks with on a multi-day multi ride, merino wool is ideal for that. And that goes for if you have a base layer for top or bottom, it's phenomenal in that situation. Now aside from that, like I said, this is a blend, so it's merino wool, also acrylic nylon. So what the nylon has helped doing, it gives us some stretch. It's very comfortable when you put these on. It is a tall sock meant to go over top of the calf, but also it helps it retain its shape. So you don't have to worry about these stretching out when you put them on and then not returning back. So very comfortable sock. Again, they come in multiple sizes. As far as the weight goes, this was what we would consider a mid-weight sock. So if you had that question, we just answered it for you. But again, if you are looking to pick up a good pair of riding socks, really for any type of riding, for adventure riding, ATVs, you name it, these are a really good sock to have. If you do have questions or comments, we'd love to get those answered, so make sure to leave those below. If you've used merino wool before, we'd love to hear your feedback. That's also gonna help other riders out who are maybe not quite sure about the whole merino wool thing. Give them some feedback that's gonna help them out. If you grab your socks today, click on the link, or head over to rockymonatvmc.com. As always, if you like this product spotlight, and if you like adventure riding content, ATVs, all the good stuff. Get subscribed to the Rocky Mountain YouTube channel, hit that notification bell, and always stay up to date. I am Chase, and we'll see you on the trails.